down the trail and we come across some wild coffee it's not recommended for human consumption and what they don't tell you is why so eat wild coffee berries you'll pretty much go crazy and lose your mind yeah we gotta go whoa so we arrive at lover's key we pay our eight dollar entrance fee and drive down to where the canoe launches and right away we look across and we see these huge boils and just splashes coming from the other side of the little canal where we were. And right away we could tell it was manatees just from the way they were moving. So quickly we got in the canoe, got the cameras ready and got over to where they were. And it was just an unbelievable sight. There was four or five of these manatees that were just rolling and playing, coming up alongside of our canoe. We found two curious little ones more than happy just to follow us around for the better part of a half hour. Got the lens wet. <laughs> After the manatees got bored with us and went away, we ended up paddling about another mile back up around Black Island. Local legend has it that Black Island is actually named after Black Augustus, who was a pirate and decided to become a farmer after, I guess, too much plundering. As we paddled, we saw a few more manatee, and we kept our eye out for a place just to tie off the canoe and hop up onto the trail, which was just a few feet overhead. And eventually we did find a spot where we popped up and we were able to do a little bit of hiking around on Black Island. Oh, this is a shortcut, so yeah, this is. I think it is. I'm doing what I can, I'm doing far right. Spiders crawling on my face. That is one sticky plant. I don't know what that is. We're gonna vine this patch. Right here. I guess things were going too well because on the canoe ride back, our camera dropped into the water and ended up in the bottom of an eight foot deep, murky, jellyfish infested, low visibility mess of a lagoon. We searched the bottom was with our faces in the mud for almost an hour before we found it. And it's a good thing we did, otherwise this video wouldn't exist. We took that as a sign and we decided we'd best get home after that. In spite of that minor setback, it was still a pretty awesome day. And we'll definitely be back in the near future to explore the rest of the park.